With the upcoming release of the console edition for Planet Zoo, it looks like we might be seeing the last DLC soon. So I thought I'd put together a single wishlist of 40 animals I would still like to see with an official version. Let me just say though, this was extremely hard to put together. I redid this list multiple times because I really wasn't sure what order to put these animals in, and I'm still not sure to be completely honest. So just know that these are all animals I would appreciate seeing in the game, along with others I've probably forgotten about. Let's jump right in. First up, we've got the Markor, hailing from Asia, or the Greater Kudu, hailing from Africa. They are both species of spiral horned antelope and they look pretty sweet, but I'm honestly not the biggest fan of hoofstock. So it's great that I'm interested enough in these ones to even put them on this list. This has been a fan favorite for a long time and would probably be easy enough to implement with the sea lion and seal rigs. The walrus is certainly an iconic animal, but Canada recently moved its last captive walruses to a new facility in Abu Dhabi, so not sure exactly how well they would do in a zoo enclosure. Some African birds, also a much talked about species, helmeted guinea fowl would work well in aviaries or provide some interspecies enrichment in mixed species enclosures. A runner up to this one is any hornbill species, which I imagine could work similarly. We have crocodilians in game already, but we don't have the Nile crocodile. Absolute blasphemy, the old Egyptian gods cry out in rage over this injustice. If you've seen my True North series, you know I'm a fan of cold weather animals and the musk ox is no exception. But with the recent inclusion of the Taken, I feel like the musk ox is quite similar. Still a nice to have. More birds. The name's Sparrow, so obviously there need to be more birds. Puffins would be a fun addition to coastal enclosures and cool weather houses. Next up we have the Garanuk. Also known as the Giraffe Gazelle, it's unique because it has a very long neck for an antelope. They look quite different from other species of antelope, which is why they've earned a spot on this list. Look, I know we have a lot of spotted cats already, but South America is underrepresented in the animal roster and ocelots happen to live there. Also, I love any and all cats and really wouldn't mind seeing another one in the Zoopedia, even if the ocelot was replaced by something like a Marge or Onzilla. Mongoose are very interesting animals and could provide interspecies enrichment for some of our African species. I would also accept an Asian palm civet, or any civet for that matter, in lieu of a mongoose. The shoebill has also been highly requested and I think it would provide a unique enclosure for many zoos. It's a pretty strange looking bird, but the current crane or ostrich rig with some edits might work well. This one might seem strange, but hear me out. Ant farm. An exhibit box with tunnels all along the sides showing how ant colonies live and thrive. That would be so cool in my opinion. Outside of that, I would also accept ambient bees since we have the insect houses in game just waiting to be used. A reptile I would love to see is the tuatara, which is endemic to New Zealand. Now we did get the Oceania pack recently with plenty of animals from that region, but we are still sorely lacking in reptiles and the tuatara is on that list. Make sure to leave me a comment if you'd like to see a video all about reptiles similar to my birds one. Speaking of birds, I have mentioned these before, but having macaws in the game would be amazing. Parrots are so common in tropical houses and I think macaws fit the bill with their flashy, colorful feathers. Their wingspan is similar to that of a spectacled fox, so they could definitely work in the walkthrough exhibits. More South American representation with the Tamandua. This adorable insectivore may be known to animal lovers, but a lot of people have never heard of it, and I'm all for educating people about the diversity of the animal kingdom. This one might be a bit surprising, but I would love to see ducks, whether they be a species that is kept in an enclosure, or a more common species that can exist in the general spaces of the zoo. Your definition of exotic versus common will of course change depending on which part of the world you live in, but for me a common duck would be something like a mallard, versus an exotic to me species like the mandarin duck. Another reptile sneaks, or rather slithers, its way onto the list in the form of a cobra. The king cobra is the largest venomous snake in the world and thought to be aggressive, though they're actually much more cautious than some of their smaller relatives, and having one in the roster would be a great educational opportunity for zoo visitors. I would however also accept a Burmese python because I grew up loving Harry Potter. Another African species? Another cat? Well, yeah. Our small cat options are pretty small. 
well, limited, that's the word I'm looking for. These guys are so fun to watch when they're running around their enclosure, though they do spend a lot of time sleeping like most cats do. My local zoo has them and they are some of my favorites. Next up is the tanuki or raccoon dog. These relatives of foxes and wolves are native to Japan, which is a country we have very few animals from. I think they would fit into an Asian section super well, and the addition of an Asian canid would round out the roster nicely. My love of cool weather animals had me thinking lemmings, but they don't usually do well in zoos. So instead, I present the pika. This small mountain-dwelling rodent can be found in both North America and Asia and is the sworn enemy of the manul. More on that later. If you've seen my birds video, you would have seen this animal before, but the roseate spoonbill is still relatively high on my list. Though it's another pink bird similar to the flamingo, it does inhabit areas of South and Central America as well as the Caribbean, giving that area of the world better representation. It's halftime, let's play a game. What animal would you be excited to see in Planet Zoo? Drop me a clue using three emojis in the comments and I'll attempt to guess which animal you're talking about. Are any of the animals I've mentioned so far on your list? If not, keep watching for 20 more. The Tree Kangaroo Many people were upset this one didn't make it into the Oceania pack, and while I love the quokka, another climbing species would have been very nice. These marsupials are considered threatened as well, which would add some extra points to the conservation aspect of the game. I find it really strange that Planet Zoo has zero lagomorph representation, which is why the snowshoe hair makes this list. Pikas also belong to this order, but there's something about hares that is so adorable, especially for something like a children's zoo, where kids can see their fur change color with the seasons. Super cute. A few more exhibit animals have made this wish list, so I'll fire off these next four super quick. The anole is relatively common in the United States and even sold quite cheaply as a pet, but they are often not taken care of properly, which could open up conversations about the exotic pet trade. Rhinoceros beetles are an iconic family of beetles, and they're often found in museums. I personally would love to see a real one though, whether it be a rhinoceros beetle from Europe, Asia, Africa, or the Americas. The sugar glider is another fun one that could work in the walkthrough exhibit, especially as part of a night house. This is another animal that could spark education about the exotic pet trade. Finally, hummingbirds. Similar to the butterflies, these fluttering birds could be introduced to the walkthrough exhibits with three to five different species coexisting in the same exhibit. Sticking to the theme of small animals, the dick dick would be a super fun addition. This tiny antelope hails from Africa and would be so much fun to include in an African section to really highlight the diversity of ungulates in the continent. The honey badger would be another cool animal to see, especially with its status as a meme. Honey badger don't care. Honey badger don't give a shit. It just takes what it wants. It's an animal of least concern, but come on, just look at that face. So full transparency, I'm actually not a fan of monkeys or apes, like at all. They are some of my least favorite to go look at in zoos, unless they are small monkeys. So number 12 is the golden lion tamarin, or any tamarin really. They are a classic new world monkey with the advancements in fur texture we've seen throughout the life of Planet Zoo. I'm sure they would look fantastic. And following that up, quite surprisingly, is another monkey, the squirrel monkey. Also a very classic zoo species, they're so fun to watch moving around their enclosure and you can keep them in larger groups. Again, we're missing a lot of South American representation and the squirrel monkey would definitely fill that gap. And now we're down to the top 10. You might find this crazy, but one exhibit or ambient species I would absolutely love is the dragonfly. I've always loved them, they would work well in a tropical house or in spaces with gardens and ponds. There are around 7,000 species of dragonflies worldwide, so we could see a multi-species drop like with the butterflies. Owls are another top pick for me, particularly the great horned owl or burrowing owl. While the great horned owl would need a free-flying aviary, both could potentially fit the walkthrough exhibit framework. Another highly requested bird is the secretary bird, and I couldn't agree more. These regal looking birds would liven up any savanna section, and with the level of detail the latest Planet Zoo models have seen, I'm sure they would look absolutely stunning. The coati is another South American animal that would be fantastic to see. They are at home both in the trees or snuffling along the forest floor and could provide many viewing opportunities for guests. Females with their young can also be kept in massive groups, allowing for a fun, movement filled enclosure. 
Taking spot number six is the praying mantis, another exhibit species that I think is absolutely fascinating. There are so many species worldwide that would be fun to spot in a terrarium. And just like that, we're in the top five. In spot number five, we have the palace cat, also known as the manul. This small wild cat inhabits the steppes of Central Asia and has recently taken the world by storm. You can find it in memes and Instagram pages dedicated to posting manul pictures. Or you can even follow along with manul around the world with the manul world cup. Following up is number four, the river otter. My local zoo keeps these as their entrance animal, and they just welcomed two new baby otters to the enclosure as well. Though we have two species of otter in game already, I would love to see some more North American representation when it comes to semi-aquatic animals. At number three is the Geldi's monkey, or marmoset. I know I don't love monkeys, but these little guys are so much fun to watch and just so inquisitive. I've had them come right up to the glass and have spent hours watching and laughing at their antics. They are so incredibly cute and the monkey I would most love to see in Planet Zoo still. In spot number two is the chameleon. I'm so surprised this isn't in Planet Zoo already. Chameleons are amazing creatures, but quite delicate and requiring specific care. They aren't as well represented in zoo and aquarium collections as other lizards are, but in my opinion are more interesting than a lot of other species. And finally, the top number one place I will be giving to the Scarlet Ibis. It had to be a bird, I just couldn't resist, and the Scarlet Ibis is found in tropical houses worldwide. It's a stunning bird, they can be kept in large groups or mixed species enclosures, and even in walkthrough exhibits for a high level of guest visibility. It's really everything I want to see in an animal, especially if the upcoming DLC is the last one we're getting. So that's the list, 40 animals plus some, that I would still love to see in Planet Zoo. Only time will tell which ones will make it in before Frontier decides to move on to new projects. Do you agree with my picks? Are there animals I completely forgot about? Remember to let me know which animals you would like to see by dropping some emojis in the comments for me to guess, and I will see you next time. Bye.